This lesson is about leaders. This is 8.11. A leader is a metric system measure for liquids. One liter is about four cups. So if we look at these bottles of Coca-Cola, I'm sure you've seen these in the store. This is a two liter size. It's kind of fat, isn't it, compared to this one? This tall skinny one is one liter. That's a half of a liter, and then it gets smaller. All right, so the tall skinny soda bottle is one liter and the fat one is two liters. Okay, so if you can imagine that, all right? And the abbreviation for liter is a capital L. So one liter is about four cups, four measuring cups, all right? So which container holds more than one liter? So remember, one liter is about four cups. So which of these would hold more than a liter, more than four cups? Would a baby bottle? No, baby bottles don't hold that much. Babies don't drink that much, do they? How about a coffee cup? Well, a coffee cup is just a cup, isn't it? And a liter is about four cups, so it wouldn't be a coffee cup. How about a kitchen sink? Do you think a kitchen sink could hold more than a liter? Could it hold more than about four cups? Oh yeah, kitchen sinks can be pretty big, can't they? And they can hold more than a liter. How about a teaspoon? Oh, a teaspoon doesn't carry very much liquid, does it? That's pretty small. How about a mop bucket? Do you think a mop bucket could hold more than a liter? Well, if you said yes, you're right. They can hold a lot more than a liter, can't they? How about a bathtub? Would a bathtub hold more than a liter? Well, bathtubs can hold a lot of water, can't they? So if you said bathtub, you're right. So these would be the things that would hold more than a liter, the circled ones, okay? The rest are too small, aren't they? So knowing that a liter is about four cups, about how many liters do you think these objects hold? Do you think a garden watering can would hold about five liters or about 50 liters? Now think of the soda pop bottles too. That big fat one is two liters. So do you think a garden watering can could hold about five liters or 50 liters? Well, if you said five liters, you're right. I think if it held 50 liters, we wouldn't be able to pick it up. It would be carrying so much water. How about a soup pot? Do you think a soup pot, you can see it sitting on the stove there. Do you think that's about it holds about 8 liters of soup or about 80 liters of soup. So remember, a liter is about 4 cups and this big soda pop is 2 liters. So do you think a soup pop can hold 8 liters or about 80 liters? So if you said 8 liters, you're right. I don't think the stove would be big enough to hold a pot that could hold 80 liters, at least not a regular home stove. How about this bathtub? Do you think this bathtub holds four liters or 400 liters? So remember, two liters is the big soda pop bottle. Could you pour two soda pop bottles in here and fill the bathtub? No, because two plus two is four. That wouldn't fill a bathtub. No, it would be about 400 liters. Okay, that's a lot of water, isn't it? All right. I have a critical thinking problem. So I have a picture here. So by looking at this picture, can we tell if this barrel can hold 15 liters or 150 liters of rainwater? So we have a rain barrel here. And we need to figure out if it holds 15 liters of water, rainwater, or 150 liters of rainwater. See, it's got the little spigot and tap here at the bottom so that you can turn it on and get the water out. And then the water would just come down from the gravity. It would push it down out of this spigot. See that? So just by what we see in this picture, we need to tell if it can hold 15 liters or 150 liters. So this is what we need to figure out. Okay? So we think we can use the other objects in the picture to help us. 
there's a garden hose right here. Because just looking at the picture, we can't tell how tall it is. If there was someone standing next to it, we'd be able to tell, wouldn't we? So we see a garden hose. All right. See, we see a little bucket that's got flowers in it. See that? There's a watering can back here. And look, there's a hand rake, like a little hoe, a hand rake. See that right there? That can help us figure out how big it is, right? So there's a garden hose, there's a bucket, there's a watering can, and there's a hand rake in the picture. So the watering can probably holds about five liters, right? We figured that. Watering can holds about five liters. So if one watering can holds five liters and five plus five plus five is 15, then that means... 15 liters would be three watering cans, wouldn't it? So by looking at this picture of the barrel, here's the watering can back here. See it behind the bucket right here? Here's the watering can. Does it look like if this watering can was filled three times that it would fill this entire barrel? Would that be enough water? Three watering cans of this size, would that fill this entire barrel? No, 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 those watering cans aren't enough, are they? So, can the rain barrel hold about the same as three watering cans? No. It looks like the barrel can hold a lot more than three watering cans full, doesn't it? And if each watering can is a five liters, well, that's only 15 liters. And the question said, does the barrel hold 15 liters or 150 liters of rainwater? Well, if this isn't enough, it must hold the 150 liters, because that was our only other choice, wasn't it? So the answer would be, it holds about 150 liters of rainwater. So it would be this one, wouldn't it? So that's our answer. It must hold 150 liters. So by using the other items that were in the picture, we were able to figure out the size of this rain barrel, weren't we? You buy a lot of things online and you look at things on a computer and you don't know how big they are. But if you saw somebody's hand or if a person was standing there, like a man or a woman, that would have helped you know, wouldn't it? All right? So we're going to continue talking about measurement and we're going to talk about temperatures next. Okay? I hope I'll see you there and I hope you have a great day. Bye.